there are very many new products that appear in the biotechnology area that need to be commercialized or tested. But most of these products need to be produced in small quantities. So people who develop these products tend to go and hire pilot plants or small production plants in order to produce them. This is how the concept of a multi-product batch plant appears. A few years ago, one of my students had the opportunity to go to Berkeley and work in a company that had such a pilot plant or such a plant. So to generate this paper, we had real data of an actual plant that say in a campaign of one year had to produce four totally different products. Now with my student Gabriela Sandoval, who is the main author of this paper, we worked at developing modern tools in order to study the optimization using computer techniques and modern mathematical techniques in order to optimize the equipment in such a plan. Now these computational techniques that were developed in a previous paper were now applied to a real plant with real data, which is the value of this paper. So now Gabriela is going to explain with much more detail the main novelty of this paper, the methodology, the novel methodology she developed and how this has an impact or will have an impact, we hope, in the biotechnology industry. Hello, I'm Gabriela Sandoval and I'm going to talk you about a little of my paper published in uh, Biotechnology and Bioengineering. Um, in this paper, we uh, used an improvement of a previous work uh, where we want to um, design a multi-product batch plant that produces four products. In our model, we uh, maintain the, an important feature of our model that uh, permits the selection of equipments in a continuous range of sizes. That is a key feature that is uh, very important because we know that some equipments can be built according to customer needs. But we also know that some, uh, some items such as centrifuges or homogenizers come uh, in um, discrete sizes. So uh, in this article we um, included some uh, equations that permit us to select uh, discrete sizes of uh, equipment and uh, obviously uh, select some discrete um, costs of these equipment. So another important feature of our work is that uh, with real known data we are able to compute uh, parameters of our model that are um, size and time factors. So with this we can now uh, apply our model to real data and we can design a multi-product batch plant that is able to produce four products uh, with 44 stages um, of downstream processing and um, the more important is that our plant is not oversized. As a matter of fact the result is that the cost, the equipment cost of an optimized plant in order to produce these four products went down more than 50% with the optimization tools that were developed in the paper. The results of my paper are quite impressive, so you're invited to download it and if you have any comments or doubts, you can uh, write me right here uh, to my email address. Thank you.